This Awareness Month, the disease runs in families, can cause a lot of pain, and plenty of women have it but may not know it. Our Kayla Schmidt has this story for us tonight. Kayla. Yes, Dennis, endometriosis is a disorder affecting more than 200 million women per year worldwide and one in 10 women here in the U.S. It also doesn't have a one-size-fits-all diagnosis, as one mid-state woman learned. The only way I can describe it is I felt like I had a knife between my ribs all the time. Endometriosis, a disorder that is difficult to diagnose and painful to ignore. When a woman has her period, those endometrial cells that you would shed during your monthly period, they would grow outside the uterus on other places in the abdomen and the pelvis. Which is what happened to Anvil's Princess Young at 29 years old. Her symptoms started in August of 2011 during a run. And I met with Dr. Harkins for the first time in February of 2012. That's kind of unheard of. Young started this journey with a previous surgeon who believed her pain stemmed from her gallbladder. Instead of making the decision to have it removed, she got a second opinion quicker than she thought. Very lucky that I ended up with a surgeon who listened, who knew what to listen for and got me referred over just like that. I mean, my journey could have been very, very different. Which led her to UPMC's Dr. Gerald Harkins. She had quite a large lesion that, again, it grows independently up almost on her chest wall. It was also growing in her pelvis too, but that became quite the problem for us to deal with. Four surgeries later, a hysterectomy and removal of her ovaries. Young still deals with endo day to day, but what's changed? Her outlook and her purpose. You've got to ask these questions. You have to speak up for yourself and be your own advocate. Dr. Harkin says without Young's advocacy, it's hard to tell if she would have successfully gotten the help. But the fight for battling endometriosis is still alive. Just today, as you came to see me in my clinic today, my last patient is a woman who's been trying to see someone about her symptoms for over 10 years. Just happened. She's been asking about her symptoms for almost 10 years. She started crying. No one's listening to her. So the idea that women don't get diagnosed is still true today. Why Young makes it her mission instead of what could be her misery. And Young will be speaking this month at the 2023 UPMC McGee Women's Endometriosis Conference, changing her problem into purpose, helping other women become their own advocates. In studio, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News. Oh,